I'm gonna share with you this crazy neon necklace. So you're gonna need some neon beads and wire, some jewelry tools, and a bead palette. So here I'm just putting all the beads in my bead palette in the different sections. And I'm arranging them on the bead board in the order that I want them to show up. So these are some weird like plastic coated neon porcelain beads I got down in downtown LA. Um, and I'm just using the bead palette to put them in order and string them on some black uh, beading wire. And then what I'm gonna do on the ends is use a crimp bead to make two loops on each end and then that's what I'm gonna use to attach my clasp to uh, the string of beads. So there I'm using a bead crimper. And after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna color this bezel with nail polish. So I don't like this bronze color, it wasn't gonna work for my project, so I just used some black nail polish. This is a trick I learned from Jen Cushman and uh, Susan Leonard Kasmer on how to change the color of things. So I'm just using, you know, I think I got this out of Katie's room, black nail polish. So I painted the whole thing and then I let it dry. You can add a second coat if you want, but one coat is actually gonna be just enough. And then I'm gonna color this with some iced enamel. So I'm painting iced enamels uh, medium on the bezel wherever I wanna add color. So first I'm gonna use the new amethyst iced enamels from Ice Resin. I'm just gonna sprinkle it where I want it at, put the rest back in the container and then use my heat gun to heat set it. Now I'm gonna heat up the metal and the metal, the heat on the metal is gonna actually set that enamels. Now I'm gonna paint the rest of it with iced enamels um, medium and then add chartreuse iced enamels and again heat set that to make it permanent. And now I'm gonna add some sparkle fibers from Clear Snap. These are really fun. You can't find them anymore, but I did include a link on my blog post to Amazon where you can get them. These are some glass glitters from Ice Resin as well that you can get from them. And then I just put some little uh, letter beads in there and a fun plastic star. I also found some beads that are shaped like stars and so I put those in there and then I mixed up some ice resin, just you know, equal parts, part A, part B of the ice resin, and then uh, drizzled it into my bezel to set it. So there you have it, a fun, cool project. You can do this with any colors. It doesn't have to be neon. Make your own custom bezels. Hit that subscribe button up there in the corner, and I will see you again soon.